Pay, and welcome to Recapture and Reallocate. This is a training that's going to provide a revenue enhancer for freelancers, coaches, solopreneurs, and creatives. If we haven't met before, my name is Scott Perry. I am a former head coach for Seth Godin's Akimba Workshops, and I am the chief difference maker at Creative on Purpose, where we have coaching a community that helps freelancers, coaches, solopreneurs, and creatives make a better living and a bigger difference and do it in less time with less effort and with less risk so that they can increase their prosperity and peace of mind while they make progress in the difference only they can make. Uh, so in this training, I'm going to be sharing some ideas that I learned from two of my mentors, Dan Nicholson, who is the author of Rigging the Game. Uh, I'm going to recommend that you check that book out. Uh, he has a much more expansive view of this recapture and reallocate idea. And Dan, uh, in addition to Dan, Nick Peterson's book, Bumpers, also has a lot of insight that will actually be an amplifier for some of the things that I'm going to share with you here. Now, in a second, I'm going to share a document and we're going to go through it together. I'm going to include a link to this document, which will give you notes on this training, but also will provide you with links to Dan and Nick's book. And I'm also going to be sharing a lot of ideas that come from my most recent book, The Coaching Business Prescription. It's a book that helps uh, any business dial in a irresistible offer, an eager audience, and a 30-minute-a-day sales success strategy. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and I'm going to share my screen and and we're going to get going. So I've already set the table. I've introduced myself. I've given you a little idea about the training. And I've given you, uh, I've let you know that you can get this document and go through the resources. What I want to do now is provide you with kind of a bonus right up front. I'm going to share with you uh, some ideas that I got from Nick Peterson's. It's a training called Allegiance Capital. And you can find it for free at um Nick's community in the Success Finder platform. Again, there's a uh, link down below. You can access a Creative on Purpose community on Success Finder. It's absolutely free. That will give you instant access to Dan and Nick's communities there as well. So in Allegiance Capital, what Nick does is he suggests that on every landing page on your website, uh, in your your newsletter, your emails, even your social media content, you want to be able to answer these three primary questions. And then there's a fourth bonus question. And so I'm going to use this as a way of introducing this training to you. Why am I here? That's the first question. You're here because you're experiencing a consistent uh, monthly revenue shortfall or inconsistent monthly income. And your instinct is to try to make more money. And we want to make sure that we don't cave into that instinct. Am I in the right place? Second question. If you'd like to find a more efficient path to raising revenue, you're in the right place. Third question. What do I do next? Well, I'm going to encourage you to be receptive to the ideas I'm sharing with you. Take notes. You can ask questions in the comments below this video, and you can check out the resource doc. Uh, the, there will be a link available in either the description of this video or in the comments. And then the fourth bonus question is, what happens after I do that thing I'm supposed to do next? Here's the thing. Learning that is not or knowledge that is not applied is useless. Learning happens when we take knowledge and we apply it to our endeavor. So I'm going to strongly encourage you after this training to go do the work. It's this exercise is going to take less than an hour and you're going to see that this is a really powerful exercise that will add money to your bottom line as an individual. And if you're a business owner, it's going to add money to the bottom line of your business. And I'm going to show you how you're actually going to be able to increase the amount of money that you're adding to your business when you do that while reducing the amount of time, effort, and risk that you're putting into your business. So those are the questions. Again, knowledge does not equal learning. Uh, here's the situation. Our instinct when we are experiencing a revenue shortfall or we're not making our month consistently making our monthly revenue numbers is we want to create market and sell more offers. And that takes time. 
that takes attention, that takes money, and that takes effort. And the return on investment on all of those resources will actually be far less than it will be if you simply prune your expenses and optimize your systems for reliability. So what we're going to do here is we're going to raise revenue without having to do any extra work, without having to do uh, put in any extra effort, without having to create any new offers and sell any new offers. And we're also at the same time going to be optimizing our system so that we continue to earn more revenue as time goes on. The idea here is that less is more. So the situation is we're experiencing a revenue shortfall. We're not meeting our monthly revenue number. Our instinct is to do more put in more effort, make more calls, do uh, create more offers. What we're going to do is we're going to put a pause on that instinct and we're going to go into our current expenses and we're going to prune out all the things that are not delivering a return on investment that's adequate for the amount that's being invested. And we're going to save a lot of time, money, and effort in the process. So here's the resource uh, recapture and reallocation application. Let's start with what, what we're going to do, which is to simply audit your personal expenses and activities. We're going to start there. We're going to prune all the unused or underused expenses, and then things like app subscriptions, streaming services, et cetera. And we're going to recapture money that uh, is just laying there waiting for us to recognize that it's not being spent in a way that is getting us closer to the things that we really want. If you're a business a freelancer, a coach, a solopreneur, or a creative, we're going to audit your business expenses and activities, and we're going to eliminate all the unnecessary expenses and activities and raise the floor on the essential elements of your business revenue systems. And this is all detailed in the coaching business prescription. There's a link down below in this document where you can get a copy for $8. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's go through an example of your personal expenses. So this is an example from my own personal life. Um, a couple of years ago, when I was introduced to these ideas, my wife and I were, uh, experiencing a, a change in our lives. We had raised our hand and volunteered to take care of our grandson Jasper full-time, which was really reducing the amount of time we could put into our businesses. And we were um, experiencing some inconsistent revenue at that time. And so, you know, we didn't want to, we didn't want to put more time and effort into our business. We wanted to spend more time with our grandson. So what we did is we went through our weekly, monthly, annual expenses. And here's what we were able to recapture. We were spending about $260 a month on coffee. How did we do that? Well, 10 hour, or $10 a day, six days a week uh, adds up pretty fast. And so instead of just eliminating our coffee habit, what we did was we just cut it in half. We said, okay, instead of going six days a week, we're going to go three days a week. And we saved $130 a month by doing that. We did the same thing with our dining out habit. We generally go out to dinner or lunch or brunch uh, twice a, uh, a week. And what we did here is uh, because we were spending about $60 a, a, a week on our dining out habit. And instead of cutting back and only dining out once, what we ended up doing is the places that we go here in town offer really generous servings. We kept going out twice a week. We simply split an entree uh, and stopped you know, buying uh, a drink to go along with it. And we were able to still go out twice a week and reduce our dining out habit by $130 a month. We we're drinking a glass of wine just about every night. That was adding up to uh, $100 a month in wine expense. We decided to start drinking just on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That reduced our, uh, our, our wine expense by $50 a month. We would, when we went out to eat, we would often just walk around town and do a little shopping. Uh, my I, I have a kind of a nasty reading habit. So Barnes and Noble is a recipient of a lot of my discretionary income. My wife loves to go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby to feed her painting habit. 
what we did was, again, didn't stop shopping, didn't stop treating ourselves to things that make us happy. We just said, okay, instead of spending $200 a month when we go out to shop, we'll just reduce that to $100 a month. And then entertainment, all the streaming services, all the apps, meditation apps, reading apps, uh, music apps, what have you, um, all those kind of expenses. We just decided that we would uh, go through all the things that we weren't really using. You know, there's like a lot of streaming services that, you know, for instance, my wife loves to watch the Tour de France. We picked up a Peacock streaming subscription, forgot to cancel. It was just recurring uh, and we weren't using it. Uh, did the same thing when we wanted to watch a documentary on PBS, uh, never canceled the subscription. Uh, so we were getting a recurring expense that way. I think I also signed up for a free three months of Apple Plus um, and forgot to cancel that. So that was recurring. So just by canceling some of those streaming services, we went from $200 in entertainment um, cost per month to $100 a month. So here's the math. The total revenue that we were able to save was uh, was $510 a month, which maybe doesn't sound like a lot, but that amount, that creates $6,120 a year. And what were we able to do with that money? Well, we're now able to, to fund our beach vacation, not just for one week, but for two weeks. And so we can have an extended vacation at one of our favorite places, the beach. Um, and we are doing that with money not, that we didn't have to go out and earn to fund our vacation. We simply recaptured it and put it towards something that we really wanted to do more of, something that we really wanted to get closer to. Just one other side benefit here, you, you know, by reducing um, our coffee habit to three days a week, by uh, reducing our dining habit, um, by half, by reducing our wine habit by half, all these things actually enhanced the experience. So now when we go out for coffee on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, it's actually feels like a bigger experience. We actually get more enjoyment um, than when we just kind of sleepwalked our way through our day. And that included a trip to the, to the coffee shop to grab our coffee. So that is a personal example. Now, here's the thing. If you are a business owner, you're going to be able to recapture and reallocate expenses in a similar way, but then there's going to be an enhancer to this that's going to show you how you're not just recapturing uh, revenue that could be better spent somewhere else, but you're going to see that you're actually increasing the value of that recapture by not doing the things that you think you have to do when you start chasing the idea of putting out more effort into your sales system or creating new offers or chasing down new markets for your product or service. So let's get to the coaching business. Again, this comes from my own personal experience. And um, so what was happening here is I was earning between three and five thousand dollars a month. It was bouncing around quite a bit. Sometimes I was actually doing not not even three thousand, um, but on average, I was I was making about four thousand dollars a month gross. And um, you know, when our kids, uh, when my my older son and his wife announced that they were pregnant, we raised our hand and said, "We want to be the daycare providers." Right after we said that, we looked at each other and say, how the hell are we going to do that? We both work like eight to 10 hours a day in our business. How are we going to spend eight hours a day, Monday through Friday with our grandson? And so this created a forcing function, especially for me, because I had to reduce my time in my business and um, compress it down to a couple hours in the morning before Jasper arrived so that I could spend the entire morning, 7 a.m. to noon, with my grandson so that my wife could work in her business. And then I was able to, from noon until 4, when our grandson gets picked up, I was able to have flex time where if I had a client, I could have a uh, call with my client while my wife watched Jasper. But a lot of that time is spent with both my grandson and my wife, which makes life a lot better. But 
you know, again, I had to try to increase my revenue. I had to reduce the amount of time I was spending in my business, the amount of effort I was putting into my business. I wanted to do this with reduced risk. So here's what happened. So at that time, I, I, I was working 80 plus hours a week, again, probably closer to 100, if I'm being honest. I went through my expenses, the software services and subscriptions that I was um, th that I was including in my business expenses on my tax return. You know, software, things like um, Kajabi, maybe use Shopify or something like that for your site, uh, MailChimp or whatever you use for your email subscriptions, um, software that you use for uh, designing your um, your your copy or your printed matter. Uh, all, there's all sorts of software that that we all use in our business uh, services. Like maybe you have a coach yourself. Maybe you've joined um, uh, some sort of um, program to learn how to leverage Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook ads, what have you. Uh, and then your subscriptions, maybe you're subscribed to some newsletters, maybe you're subscribed to masterminds. These are the kind of things that you're looking for when you go through your business expenses. And it turned out that I had a total of $1,800 a month in expenses. And when I back that out from my average of $4,000 a month in income, my net income, and this is before tax, was $2,200 a month. This gave me a profit margin of 55%, which is not bad for, well, I mean, if you're if you're a brick and mortar business or, or like a retailer, 25% is what you're generally seeing something around that number. In service businesses, it's not unusual at all to have profit margin that's higher than that. Um, but mine could definitely be higher than 55%. So what I did was I was able to reduce my expenses again by half. I recaptured $900 a month. Now that results in $10,000 a year. Now that might not sound really significant to those of you that are, you know, earning uh, more, more than what I'm sharing here. But here's what you really saved. The sales necessary to increase revenue by that amount, $10,000 a year, is the amount that you saved divided by your profit margin. Again, if you go to Dan's book, he really lays out the math here. I'm not going to explain it. Math is not my primary jam. Go go to Dan's book. Um, and Nick also covers it in some of the training uh, um, in his material in Success Finder. But that Real savings margin now goes from $900 a month to $1,636 a month, which is $19,000, uh, 19000 almost $20,000 annually. So this is the enhancer for a business. By not chasing more, you're actually not just recapturing the money uh, and it, putting it towards your bottom line, but you're actually... It, 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 actually is the equivalent of a much larger amount of money that you would have uh, had to spend. And I mean, here's the thing. It's not just that you would have had to get uh, $1,600 in additional revenue a month to equal $900 in savings. You would have had to put in all of that time, all of that effort, all of that risk, all of the stress, all of it. And so by doing this pruning of expenses, you are actually not just increasing the efficiency of your system, which is laid out in the coaching business prescription, but you're also saving time, saving money, reducing risk, reducing effort. So uh, let's see. Here's just some something that I want to share after a year, a year after I went through this process, and I want to say that I also, I do this recapture and reallocate about every quarter, and I always find a little bit more. It's not as much as I did initially, but generally I'll find another one to $2,000 every quarter that I'm able to recapture. And so after a year, a year after I, I did this initially, 
months, my revenue increased to $9,000 a month gross, $7,600 a month net, because I reduced my total expenses to $1,400 a month. Well, that's actually more than the 900 I was saving earlier. But what I did was to, when I got my revenue up to, I think five, $6,000 a month, pretty consistently, I I worked, uh, I started doing some uh, some ads and I was spending about $500 a month on those ads. And what that did is it accelerated my revenue. So I went from $4,000 a month on average to $9,000 a month on average. And I did that by just spending an extra $500 a month. And what happened is that I raised my uh, profit margin to 84%. Now, I'm going to offer you one bonus to this training. If you are a freelancer, a coach, a solopreneur, or a, um, a creative, and you have a business that you want to, you know, you want to get more of the right clients into your ecosystem, into your pipeline, and into your programs, you can share this very process with them. How many times have you been on a discovery call or a sales call and the, you know, the client, the prospect says, you know, this all sounds really good. I just don't have the money right now. Well, you can tell them that they probably do have the money. They just aren't prioritizing uh, this, you know, this thing that, that you can uh, provide for them that will actually get them closer to what they want. But that's kind of a hard sell because, you know, there's a, a narrative in your prospect's head around lack, around scarcity, around a lack of abundance. And this is a very pragmatic and tactical way that you could say, hey, if you want to go through um, a process with me, I'll actually show you how you can, um, without doing anything in addition, recapture the revenue necessary for this program. And in the process, save yourself time, money, and effort and risk at the same time. And you can go through this process with them. And if you can help someone recapture what it would cost for your product or service and more, why would they not work with you? It's a great way to build, again, to use Nick's word, allegiance capital. So just to wrap up in terms of resources, um, if you go, if you click on this link here, you'll go to the Creative on Purpose Bookstore and you can buy copies of Rigging the Game, Bumpers, and the Coaching Business Prescription. Uh, I recommend all three. Um, the Coaching Business Prescription is on sale for a dollar. I think you can get a paperback copy of Bumpers for uh, three or four dollars. And I think Dan's book is less than ten dollars. The return on investment on you know, that $15 or so is going to probably be 100x if you actually apply the philosophy and principles and strategy laid out in those books. If you want to uh, access um, the Guardian Academy, uh, Nick Peterson's uh, content and rigging the game in um, the Success Finder platform, click on this link join the creative on purpose community where there's going to be additional resources that will enhance your experience of this training and then you can also join nick peterson and uh, uh dan nicholson's community there dan uh nick peterson and some other members of the guardian academy have a lot more training around recapture and reallocate plus a lot of additional trainings that can really help you level up and uh, step into your limitless potential and the endless possibilities in your life and in your business um, by doing some work uh, just on enhancing yourself and your life. Uh, the, if you click on this link for the Guardian Academy Substack, I think you will be very glad that you did. If you want to go one step further into possibility if you want to uh if you just want to be half a shade braver and go ahead and take a look at your uh an audit of your coaching 
business, freelancer business, solopreneur business, or you know, business built around a creative endeavor, click on this link here. Um, it will take you to an audit of your offer, audience, and sales strategy. If you want, you can uh, ex catalyze that experience with a 15-minute call, but you don't have to. And um, it will give you an idea of where you need to fix something or um, tweak something, uh, find something uh, that's going to help um, find, fix, or fine tune your offer audience and sales strategy, which are the three core elements of any successful business. So I hope that this training has been really helpful to you. Again, you can actually increase your revenue, add to your bottom line, and amplify that by not doing all the things that we normally think that we have to do around investing more time, more effort, uh, creating more offers and connecting with more prospects uh, by actually doing a lot less and simply recapturing uh, income revenue that uh, is not giving us the return on investment that we want. And then we can amplify that by uh, looking at what would have been required to get equivalent to that amount of income. And if you are, so I hope that this is really eye-opening and helpful to you. If you take just 60 minutes and go through the expenses the way that, that I laid out here, you're going to find plenty of revenue that you can add to your bottom line and you can do all this without chasing more, without trying to put in more time, money, and effort in selling the things that you're already selling or with, by creating new offers and trying to chase new audiences. This is a great way to uh, actually practice less is more, increase your revenue, reduce your time, effort, and risk, and enhance your experience making a difference and making the difference only you can make with the people that need you to show up in their lives so that you can help them get from where they are to where they want to be. Please do take uh, advantage of Get, grabbing a copy of the Google document, click on those additional resources. They will only enhance your experience with this training. And uh, again, I hope this was really helpful. Be well, do good, have fun. See you next time.